The more of a force that is subjected to an object, the more it can affect it. So when we're looking at, say, the entropy on the planet, if there's more negative forces, they force the planet to vibrate in a particular way. And it's the same with you. You're made up of more water, and the planet itself is a water planet. Even though we call it planet Earth, there's more water than there is planet or Earth. This is really planet water. You're inside an aquarium. So when you're breathing, the air you're breathing is just a lighter form or a lesser dense version of water. Today, we're going to look at feeding the forces, okay? There's a scroll, but as usual, there's a lot of information in the scroll. So what I'm going to do is summarize it for you, but still get hold of the scroll. And we are going to also have the online course of it as well. So you can kind of have a structured way of learning and um, answer the questions that test your um, comprehension. Okay, so feeding the forces, what does that mean? When you look at the word feeding, is something that what you're taking in, right? So when you're eating or you're feeding the baby. When you look at the word forces, what is a force? So a force is motion, but normally it's like something that can affect, you know, so you'll have mass, all right? Something that will affect an object's acceleration. So when you say force, you really think about things moving or, or like fluctuating, going up and down. And normally, you know, you, you look at that in a waveform as in the vibration or the oscillation or going up and down. So forces can affect um, the velocity, okay? So sometimes when I use big words or words that people might deemed to be big, I have to try and break them down. So velocity is like, um, if you were playing, a, say, a keyboard or, you know, the last video I was te teaching on the, the FAC, the tones, but when you press a keyboard, the harder you press it, um, you can set the velocity so that you can touch it when, when, it's, um, when it's got um, sensitivity. So the harder you press it, the louder the sound gets, and the softer you press it, the quieter the sound gets. That's to kind of explain to you what we're saying, velocity or volume. All right, so when we're dealing with forces, there are many forces that can affect you. Um, different types of sounds, um, entities, lights, you know, just frequencies and vibrations, they can affect you. And some of these forces have such an impact that you can basically act differently after that force has been applied to you. So when, um, you know, you're in an environment and people are like calling on certain names or using certain tones and certain vibrations, even music, it will affect you, right? And because you are a being that's made up of atoms, uh, molecules that are held together, the vibration can change and that would then affect your energy field or your aura as people will refer to it as, okay? And so you have pulling um, forces. So when I said oscillating or vibrating, that's because there's a tug of war, you know, with centrifugal and centrifugal forces. So this is what is known as entropy. So the more of a force that is subjected to an object, the more it can affect it. So when we're looking at, say, the entropy on the planet, if there's more negative forces, they force the planet to vibrate in a particular way. And if, if it's the other way around, if there are more positive forces, then it can also change the balance of the planet. And it's the same with you and you're made up of more water, all right, than, than anything else. And the planet itself is a water planet, even though we call it planet Earth, there's more water than there is planet or Earth. So this is really planet water. You're inside an aquarium. So when you're breathing, 
the, the air you're breathing is just a lighter form or a lesser dense version of water. So this scroll, what it does is it explains about the various forces that can affect you when you're chanting, when you're calling certain names. So if you look at a name as a tone, a vibration or a frequency, if I called your name and your name was, let's say, Mark, if I said Mark, if there were hundreds of people in that area and they also had the name Mark, that tone will affect them and they will all turn in my direction. And this happens with beings that are alive or dead, right? So that tone, that force, that vibration can still have an effect. This is why in Wu Sabat we teach that you shouldn't take on names of other like entities or races. So when you say, you know, like Jesus, Muhammad, God, Allah, all of these tones can affect you. And also, um, when we start to look at how does it affect you, is because, as I said, your atoms, your, your held together, even though people think things are solid, they're actually really put together by atoms. And a vibration, a tone, a frequency can change the oscillation or the vibration of, of the atoms within your body. So when um, the experiment that, I mentioned before called uh, um, the Human Genome Project was done where they were able to look at atoms and how they affect you. They can now actually say this gene is the cause of, you know, cancer or this gene is the cause of this and that. And when the, um, the, the hydrogen collider was used in the experiment, which is to smash atoms together to see the effects because in trying to find out how the planet, the universe, and things come about, they go back to the beginning when, when things were tiny or were small before they expanded and grew into what we call the universe today. So when CERN were carrying out this experiment of smashing atoms together, it was a success in one way because they were able to know more about early the early beginnings of you know the planet the universe etc however it also some of the equipment was damaged and they all opened up portals and you have lower abodes and beings that reside in the lower abodes you know these will be your, like your ghouls your demons and some negative entities and spirits that came here and are here on the planet so this scroll feeding the forces really goes into explaining how you don't feed a force, right? Or you should be able to recognize a force that is having an impact on you. So you might be feeling very happy, vibrant, and then something happens to trigger you. And this is where whatever that force is, is now going to have an impact on you. And you can allow that to have a negative impact on you or like someone can do something to get you angry, which will change your mood and change your vibration. And other forces can help you to be in, you know, peaceful and be calm. And so you have to be able to know, okay, I'm not going to feed into that force. I'm not going to allow that force to change my vibration, change my mood, change my movement. And so in also the things that you eat, the things you take in. So if you drink a lot of, um, say, coffee or things with high dosage of caffeine um, that can agitate you as well and affect your mood um, fizzy drinks you know um, things that are not good for you if you eat a lot of dead flesh this will change your vibration because the energy that the animal or the experiences the traumas etc that that animal went through during you know it's been when it was being killed it's within it energy field and then when you eat that you also take that and memories are stored in your cells right so when you're eating certain things you're also taking those memories and the traumas of that animal this is why it's also not good to, to eat flesh because uh, or take a lot of bloody meat because the life is in the blood so sometimes you can digest something or eat something and have a nightmare or have, you know, it will affect you 
because of those forces and then you may sleep and have these dreams, these nightmares that that animal or that, um, you know, wh whatever you're taking in experienced, you see. So this goes into what's right for you to eat, what you shouldn't eat, when you should eat um, and, you know, what will affect you, what type of forces will affect you positively or negatively. So today, yeah, we're really looking at feeding the forces and the whole idea is to always think to yourself, when you're in a situation where somebody's triggering you or somebody's saying something or doing something or there's a sound or a tone or something that affects you, you have to think and say, I'm not going to feed into that force. You know, don't feed those forces because the more you feed them, like I said, when you give a baby food, the more you feed them, the more that force will grow or expand. So the more you feed into something negative, the more you generate because you're basically creating a bigger field, a bigger force field for that energy, you see? So feeding the forces is a scroll. Um, it's called Actual Fact, Feeding the Forces. You can get it from us. Um, the links are in, in the comments as usual. And um, look out for the course because the more you learn to control external forces that affect you the better you are now we can even go as far as saying that um you know the the, the lights the 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 colors that you're around the clothes that you wear um the places that you go the music that you listen to the you know when you're hearing people talking the, the, what they're saying is it a positive force or is it a negative force and you are the mass that these forces are coming at and these frequencies are coming at. So you have to be able to say, I'm not going to feed into that force. I will recognize it and I will be able to protect myself from getting caught up in feeding that force. So you build what we call a, 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 a psychic self-defense, which is to do with using your psychic abilities or your powers to build a, a, a shield or a force field around you where these forces cannot penetrate and it's all to do with the frequency that you're vibrating at so your thoughts are very important because you can think yourself into a state this is why we say that um you know hell is a state of mind as well as you know being in a place where you're being tortured and so on but you give yourself hell if you feed into negative forces so yeah this is a very, very important um, scroll to get and it's called Feeding the Forces. And um, yeah, tune in for the next um, episode when we're going to look at another scroll. And yeah, tune in for the online course as well. And that will basically give you the information, test you to see if you're comprehending and retaining the information. Until the next video, peace.